high performance, yes, so we start in one, on one floor and we take them on a journey through the building. We've kind of thrown a lot of stuff at this story because the story itself has been told in lots of different ways over time. So originally we had uh, Virgil's The Aeneid, um, which is a much more expansive story in which Dido is, is only one bit. of Marlowe's version of the story, Dido, Queen of Carthage, and um, we've taken the opera itself. The opera itself is, is also a bit of a mishmash of, of elements, so we've taken lots of liberties with it, and it's, it's kind of not Dido and Aeneas, it's kind of the story of Dido when she meets Aeneas. Aeneas? No. It opens your eyes into what, what is around today in, you know, pushing boundaries. No never intending to visit them more. No never, no never intending to visit them more. It's mostly local people have come to see our show and it's, it's been good. We've offered uh, discounted tickets for local residents and it's, it's been really good because it's been a, a, a young audience and yeah, I think they've enjoyed opera, which is amazing. Come away, fellow sailors, come away, come away, your anchors be away, time and tide without a bit, no delay. Take a boozy short leave of your leaves on the shore and silence the morning with vows of return for never intending to visit them more. We've always thought that opera is always at the Royal Opera House, or the, you know, and we thought we'd do it in a different setting and make the opera cut of the opera audience comfortable. <laughs> so um, we uh, took them to Peckham. <laughs> Performance, the, uh, the actual whole production is just very keen to lay itself open and say this is how we work, this is what we do, and bring the audience in as close as possible, which I think is really brave and really breaks down one of the barriers that I think need to be broken down in opera.